What's up guys, Goonies here, bringing you my first FIFA 15 player review and today it is the one and only Mario Baratelli. There's the squad that I played him in yesterday, if you want to see what I thought about the squad overall, check out the squad build that I did yesterday, there's a link in the description below. Guys, if this video can get to 200 likes, that'd be amazing. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter as well. So I've got him up top there in a 4-3-3, as you can see, 6 foot 2 low low work rates right footed four star weak foot and skill moves as well cost me 33,500 coins 11 goals one assist in eight games isn't a bad return those in-game stats have switched things about a bit now you come to the mental physical right there at the start 87 strength is key 82 sprint speed as well and it's 78 agility 82 acceleration so you know he's no slouch despite that strength which is fantastic then the second page now we have the skills as well standouts you know penalties also his shot power 85 as well is pretty decent and you know what ball control dribbling finishing you know all in the 80s as well it's definitely what you want from your striker you know the low low work rate as we mentioned weighs 176 pounds so he's not a lightweight as well and also now you can see the traits power free kick flare and long shot taker as well so what were my expectations of mario balotelli on fifa 15 well, I'd always enjoyed him last year. I thought his regular card and his inform were definitely amazing cards. When I was building those Serie A squads last year, he's definitely a player that I wanted to incorporate in there because he has that unique mix. He's six foot two and he's got 87 strength. So you know what? He is going to be a monster. He's great in the air as well. If you want to win those headers, he's just a presence all round. And then of course, he's no slouch. He's quick for a guy of this size and weight, which is fantastic. And when he gets going, no one is going to be able to stop him. And then he's also got that amazing finishing ability as well. You know, give him time and space. He's going to drill the ball past the keeper as well. He's good at free kicks. He also has that long shot trait that you saw as well. So, you know, he's going to be able to deliver when you get the ball to him. Even though he had a low attacking work rate, it didn't really hinder him as much as it would do other players because he's got that strength you know, to hold the ball up. So he's not going to get bullied off the ball. And then also, as long as you've got players around him with high attack and work rates or great movement, then you're going to do well. For me, it's vital. That's why I had Fia Walcott in the squad next to him because Fia Walcott's got those perfect, you know, attacking work rates, high attack and low defensive. So when Mallory Balotelli was deep, then you could bring the others into play. And there's a clip towards the end where you can see that. It's decent in the air as well. Headers don't seem to be as overpowered, but definitely this guy has a unique mix. A throw in four star weak foot and four star skill moves as well. You've got yourself a hell of a striker. I think he's only going to rival Diego Costa as the only other striker out there that might be better than him. And for me, it's definitely worth every coin that I invested in him right now. So let's review overall what I thought about him. He's a fantastic finisher. Long shots, you know, in the box, get that ball on his right foot or even his weak foot as well. You know what he's going to deliver for you. Super strong. There's not many players out there stronger than him. And with that size and build as well, he's going to be an absolute asset to your team. Throw in four star weak foot and the four star skill moves as well. You know what? That's what you want from your strikers. If they don't have the five star, you want them to have the next one down the four star and he delivers. Great pace as well for a guy this size and area ability as well. The only thing you can knock him for is that low attacking work rate. It is a bit of a pain, but I guess you can't have it all. So overall, I give him an 8.75 out of 10. It's definitely a fantastic player to use. One of the best strikers in the BPL right now. So that's it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like below, comment, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.